Hey, what's up guys? We're Shaq Media here, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Sony Xperia Z3 running Marshmallow on top of it. Yep, it's finally been updated, which I'd say is uh, pretty quick compared to like where Samsung's at with the S5 and stuff like that, so I applaud Sony for updating at least the Z3 kind of quick, because everyone knows they were slow as hell in the Z5. So just to show you guys status, um, I always forget where it is here, here it is, 6.0.1. There we go. So we are running Sweet Marshmallow. Yay. Nice, very nice. So if we go home now, uh, there are some changes I've noticed. I've been using a little bit with Marshmallow. Just try it out. Um, so the first thing I've noticed is if you swipe down, you get a quick like search, which is pretty cool, actually. I kind of really like that. So it seems like no matter where you are on the home screen, swipe down, boom, and you can search. You know, you can do, uh, I don't know. You know, there you go. And it'll just do kind of like apps. It's kind of like how iOS does it on the iPhone. So it's really smart. I actually really like that. So that's a nice little addition from Sony. Um, if you notice the app folder is kind of white now, before it was just kind of clear. If we click on the app folder, it kind of remained the same, um, except right here, again, you can do search applications. If you hit here, you got settings. And here you can you know do show names and doc, icon appearance. So there's quite a bit of customization, which is pretty cool. Sony has kept that. Um, that's one thing I noticed. If you go here, it's uh, suggested. So I'm not sure if you can edit suggestion uh, I don't think you can see that's one thing I don't know if based on what you open it'll open it later I'm not sure about that I haven't used it enough but I, I hope that like bit depending on how much you use a certain app it'll you know open it there we'll see so then we got that if we go back home if you go multitasking it's pretty much the same still got the small apps down here um uninstall small app and all that so you can control that um, in terms of multitasking, it does look pretty similar if we go here, just open some things. If we go like that and go like this, so yeah, it's pretty similar. You got to close all. And that's one thing I noticed actually, the small apps does go away, which is pretty cool now. So see, it'll kind of slide away, so that's pretty nice. But otherwise, and that's the same thing. It still opens pretty quick. Uh, right here, let's take a look at the messaging. I guess you can send stickers now, a little big planner right there. More stickers, all right, cool. Just kind of what it looks like. It kind of looks the same, you know, same keyboard, you know, Android, you can customize it. Let's just check the emojis really quick. Does it have the new emojis? Um, let's see, oh, it goes down, see? Everyone's different, let's see. What's the new emoji? Yeah, it seems to have all the new emojis. Um, there's the middle finger, yep, it's got it. All right, cool, so 6.0.1, you got that. Um, let's see what else there is. If you hold it, same thing, take screenshot, record screen, power off, restart. And the settings menu has changed a little bit. If you look at that, it looks a little bit different, a little bit cleaner. So you still got the themes. Still got themes, still got home, display. So all that's pretty much uh, pretty similar. Battery usage. They, one thing I did notice, they did take out the uh, stamina mode. So if that's one thing, that's one thing I used to always use on the Z3. So that's really disappointing. Um, it does have those, you know, obviously, but come on. I mean, that was one of Sony's biggest selling points with stamina. So I'm... I'm really disappointed they decided to take that out. I'm hoping next update with the Z3 they will re-add that, but that is really disappointing. Um, otherwise than that, I've noticed the camera, of course, is different. You've got the one that's on the Z5 and stuff where you can slide like this. In terms of speed, I haven't really... Let's see if it's faster. Manual, Superior Auto. Just try taking a picture of something. It's all relatively the same speed. Um, Nothing all that much quicker, let's see. Yeah, relatively the same speed. Front camera, of course. You got the front camera. Same thing. Let's see. Okay, so relatively the same speed. Nothing too much faster there. Um, of course, you still got camera which you're going to open, you know, from anywhere. But one thing I did notice is, let's say you're in the home menu. Double press it. It goes straight into camera. See that? So you don't have to use just the camera button anymore. You can actually see I'm locked. Double press the power button. Boom, it opens up camera. So I'm not sure if this is from anywhere. Yep, so it's from anywhere. So it's just like exactly like the Nexus 6P, which is pretty cool. So let's say I'm in messaging, double press it. Boom, there it goes. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's a new thing. I mean, I guess it doubles down. You can either, you know, hold it, which is a little bit slower. Actually, I'm not sure which one's faster. Let's see. Or this one. Yeah, relatively the same. Otherwise than that, performance from what I've been using, it's been running pretty nice. Um, you know, Z3 has always been running nice. I've never had any issues with it. Let's see if I open up a new tab. We go, I don't know, let's go on a uh, phone arena. Oh, let's go phone. Go, I only 
anyways, let's see right here really quick. So we put it down, if we can go to Phone Arena, let's go right here, boom. Now my Wi-Fi does kind of suck, so, but. Anyway, it's been running the same, you know, you can expect the same results. As you guys can see, my Wi-Fi is bad, so don't worry, it's not the Marshmallow update making it run slower, it's my Wi-Fi. <laughs> But yeah, otherwise than that, um, that's a quick look at the Marshmallow update. Overall, I'm enjoying it. Um, I do like some of the new features, but I am really disappointed it took out Sanima. So once they return that, I'll definitely recommend this update for now. If you use that a lot to save battery, because I know when I use this phone, it has a great battery, especially with stamina on. So once they return that, I will definitely recommend updating to Marshmallow. But until then, I am really disappointed they took that out. So overall, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If not, dislike, tell us what we did wrong. Thank you so much. And until next time, Rorschach Media out.